Hi, this is Les Levine, the self-proclaimed voice of truth and reason in Ohio sports. Once the Minnesota Twins decided to clinch the AL Central, many of you Indians fans were just not interested in the wild card race. I kept insisting that all you have to do is get to the playoffs, then anything can happen. Do you think that any Washington Nationals fan is upset that they didn't win the NL East? When they win the World Series over New York or Houston next week, nobody's going to remember they were a wild card team. Also remember this. Despite record-shattering home run numbers, when October rolls around, pitching is the name of the game. It always was and always will be. Hoynesy is here. Paul Hoynes, uh, more sports and Les Levine continues right here on Cleveland.com. From the Worldwide Headquarters of More Sports and Less Levine, it's a uh, Wednesday night. Good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to More Sports and Less Levine into its 24th consecutive year and seen exclusively on Cleveland.com. Hoynesy is here. All right, good night, everybody. I'm out of here. <laughs> Paul Hoynes, Cleveland Plain Dealers and uh, Cleveland.com. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. I couldn't. I didn't know how to get here. I almost got <laughs> lost coming here. <laughs> well, as long as you wrote a, or rehearsed a rant on the way, you're in business. Yeah, I think so. I you think got we'll, one at the end? We'll see, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just do it now? We'll see if it's worthy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What's new besides baseball season will be extended another, another day. The uh, Yankees rained out today against Houston, so they'll uh, go with a, a night game tomorrow night. It's been fabulously entertaining. Yeah, great, great, uh, you know, Postseason games, uh, the Astros Yankees has been a great series. Uh, you know the uh, uh, you know Washington, you know beating the Dodgers has been been great baseball. Yeah, you know when I watch Houston play, and I, I don't get this very, I, I don't feel this way very often. They get to the middle of the lineup, and I say, okay, they're almost done with that. It's it's almost like they've got a 13-man batting order. There's one after they they bring out, they churn out one after another. Yeah, I mean they've got a great. A great team, and you know, I was listening to some people before the series. You know, the Yankees, uh, the Yankees Houston series, and they're saying the Yankees are going to. This is going to be easy. The no. Yankees are going to have this in five games, six no. games. The Yankees I'm, don't have the starting pitching. Yeah, I'm sitting there thinking, haven't they been watching this team all year? <laughs> I mean, you, you, that's not going to happen. You've got. I mean, when Gar when when uh, who's uh, Zach Greinke is the weak link right. in, in your in your top three starters. I mean, that's that's a hard team to beat. Then then they bring in Michael Brantley and they don't even need him hardly. Yeah, I mean, he's just there kind of as a hood ornament, really. <laughs> You know, I mean, that's a, that's a great lineup. And Altuve is starting to hit again. You know, and he looks like he's kind of he likes the big the big stage. Right. He might I mean, be my favorite player to watch. He is. He is. So, he will swing so hard. He's about this big. Right. You know, and the bat looks bigger than he is. Right. Taller it, than he is. It seems like he's going to uncork himself on, on the swing. And you know, he, and he's every pitch. You know, you know, he swings as hard as he can. Right. Right. And if he connects, he connects. I don't know if you got to hear the open, but. When October rolls around, despite the staggering numbers of home runs, when it's all said and done, pitching pitching still remains. Yeah, definitely. And but did they change the baseball? You know, for the well, postseason. I wonder. You know, you, you with with so many home runs hit during the regular season, and now, you know, but not I think so much. You, no, you got the best teams playing. Yeah. And, and well, you wait, your, what's the rumor going around about? Well, that? Well, you know, you know, people are saying, you know, the you know, some of the managers have said that, you know, the the baseball has definitely changed since the postseason started. But I think, you know, one of the reasons is because look at look at the way Washington has used their their pitching staff, yeah. Scherzer and, and Corbin and and uh, uh, Strasburg are pitching. They're not only starting, they're relieving, you know, right. too. So and and might they not be with those teams? With that team next year, uh, I think Strasburg has a has an out. He's got an out. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's got an out. Well, it's been an interesting year, I, and I told you before the show started that I thought um, that Francona did his his best job. Can, when you consider everything from uh, Carrasco with leukemia and and uh, and Kluber with the broken arm, and you name it, um, somehow, some way, he kept him in the game in the into the running uh, into the last week of the season. Yeah, he did. I thought he did a really good job. Anytime, 
a team is down by 11 and a half games on June 3rd, yeah. and you come back and not only catch the Twins, but pass them for, for a day. It wasn't much, but, uh, you know, you push the right buttons, I think. You know, you've done a nice job. He, at the beginning of the year, or maybe a couple weeks in, I thought he looked tired. I thought he looked like maybe this, this might be it for him. And he got, got himself rejuvenated, rejuvenated somehow. Yeah, I think I think you know what happened, Les. I think they brought up those young kids. They brought up oh. the, uh, the the pitchers. Yeah. You know, the one after that. another. Yeah, and yeah, one after another, and that kind of put them back in the race. And I think he was sitting there thinking, God, we're gonna, you know, we're we're out of this thing by we're gonna lose by twenty games. Right. You know, this is gonna be one of those years where we're, we're, we don't have a chance. But those, you know, Plesac and and Savali and and Plutko, you know, they they saved them. This portion of More Sports and Les Levine brought to you by the Ohio Lottery. All right, the Nationals have worked their way into the uh, World Series. They they made it as the Washington Senators back in the 30s, but since they, they came back from uh, being the uh, uh, Montreal Expos, they, they've never been to the World Series. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, and they did it as a wild card, and, I mean, they... You know, after they got by the Dodgers, I don't think there was any stopping them. No. And especially, you know, when the Indians came in there to end the season, the regular season, into uh, Nationals Park, you could tell they had something going. You know, they weren't just coasting. You know, they had already clinched the wild card, but they were playing for something. And that, right. that, that was just uh, – that you knew that that team had something going. You know? All right, so let me – tell me how many times you're going to hear if it's the uh – Nationals and the uh, Yankees. How, how many times are you going to hear whatever Lola wants, Lola gets because damn Yankees was the uh, Washington and New York Yankees? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to hear that. Forget yeah. New York, New York. That's right. Right, and they, and they got the Baby Shark song in, yeah. in Washington. Right. I, didn't, I don't, still don't know what that is. I don't either. They're like going like this. <laughs> 216-575-0403 is the number if you want to talk to Hoynesy. You uh, can do that by calling that number. You can also email us during the show at uh, reallesslevine at gmail.com. All right, the Nationals are in the World Series. The uh, Astros lead the Yankees two games to one. you got to root against the Yankees, don't you, just because they're the Yankees? The Yankees can't lose enough for me. I, you know, <laughs> I, and I, I, that's just the way I feel. Yeah. I, you know, I know too. Boone, Aaron Boone has done a great job you know, there, too. Doesn't uh, matter. He's the Yankees yeah, manager. Yeah. But, but, I mean, they've got it. You know, as opposed to the Indians, who had a lot of injuries, they had more injuries, yeah. but they had a $200 million payroll right. to right. cover up for those injuries. Exactly. So. All right, let's take a look at Washington's pitching, which helped them get to the spot they're in right now. Look at these. These figures are incredible, Hoinsey. Uh, 31 runs allowed, 29 of them earned in nine games, 2.90 ERA, uh, 123 strikeouts, 30 walks. It's amazing. Look at, look at the bottom. You said Strasburg and... Scherzer as well as Sanchez, they carry an earned run average under two in the postseason. I mean, they've, they've been great. And, uh, you know, I like I, I like the intensity of them. You know, I just like the, uh, Scherzer's intensity. Right. You know, I, I remember there was a game when he was pitching for Detroit against Cleveland, and uh, the Indians scored like seven runs against them early. And you looked, and it's it gets to the seventh or eighth inning. He's still out there, and now it's seven five or seven six. Right. He he gives you a chance, you know, and that doesn't happen by accident. You know, that's what a starting pitcher does. Well, I think Corey Kluber gets a lot of credit for doing that too, which is why a lot of the young pitchers gravitate toward him. Right, and you, you've got to know that. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you give up some runs early. You right. know, just keep your teeth. Stay out there, keep your team in the game, save the bullpen, and, and give your team a chance to come back. Now, let me go back to the, the home run, uh, the staggering numbers. Do, do you like watching that game, that kind of a game, or is that whatever it is, it is? Uh, you know, I mean, I, you like one day you can, it can be 2-1, to one, next day it can be 11-9. to nine. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, I think, you know, when you see, you know, the thing I think that frustrates, uh, it doesn't frustrate me, but I think what, what I noticed – this past season, what frustrated pitchers, when you see a guy go opposite field and just gets a line drive and the ball goes out, right. that really that really irritated them. You know, you could see it. That ball you know, used to bounce up against yeah, the wall. Yeah, right. And you could see Bauer and, and Plutko and, and those guys that just were resigned to the fact that that's, what's, that's, that's the way baseball is played now. Now, if they 
do something to the ball this this winter. I mean, things could change. But what I heard is they did it, didn't do it to all of them. They did it to about half. Yeah, it, if you it got was, the right one, you got the right yeah, one. Yeah, and you know it was weird. Like at the All Star game, Manfred is uh, talking about uh, there's less drag on the ball. The balls all fall in you know these the, the specifications they want. Right. But some have less drag than the others, and. So what I don't know what, what that means, you know. I mean, I think you better. It means if you get the right ball, it, it, yeah. it's like going to the old Geauga Lake. You could, you right. know, right. And you it, get, I, you, I think they better tighten up their specifications. Yeah, maybe. I would think so. All right. So the Francona back in 2016 sort of changed the game of pitching because he had Andrew Miller. Not everybody has an Andrew Miller, right. so not everybody can do the same thing. All right. Now Tampa Bay comes along and they go with what we now know as a bullpen game. It kind of hit. Kind of came out of nowhere, didn't it? Yeah, I mean they've really done a great job, and uh, you know I've talked, we've we talked to a Francona about this, and he said essentially they have a 17-man, 18-man pitching staff, and the key is you've got to have young guys that have options left. So if you let let's say you know you 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 have an opener that goes three innings, right? Uh, and uh, you know you get it goes into an extra inning game, and you've got you need another pitcher. And this, if that opener has an option, you just send him down, bring somebody else up, and you just keep it rotating. And a lot of teams, you know, like uh, veteran teams, they can't do that, right. you know, because their guys can't be sent down. Correct. So that's, you know, that's, I mean, that works, but as soon as these guys run out of options, okay. they got to get rid of them. So you take one of these bullpen games, and let's say so and so's scheduled to, to pitch two innings to start. And let's say he puts them down one, two, three, one, two, three. They have the option, the, the manager, he, he doesn't mess up the system if he keeps the guy in there, does he? No, I don't think so. But I think, uh, you know, if it depends if that other guy, you know, the, the bulk guy or the guy that's right. going to do most of the pitching, how many times he's been up in the bullpen. I don't think you're going to burn him out. You no. know, you don't want to get him up that, two or three times. That's like an appearance already. Yeah. Out there. So. All right, 216-575-0403 is the number to call. Hoinsey is here, and uh, uh, you're about 45, 46 minutes away from a uh, Paul Hines rant. I haven't heard it. Well, he hasn't made it up yet, but it'll be. I guarantee you it'll be worth it when uh, we have that a little bit later on. Uh, don't forget uh, the Ohio Lottery, of course. Uh, there's, there's over $6.25 million paid out in Ohio Lottery pick games each and every week. With that amount of winning, stop by your local retailer and try your luck with the Pick 3, Pick 4, and Pick 5 games, all from the Ohio Lottery. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash more sports and less Levine with new content posted each and every day. When we come back, we'll recap the Indians 2019 season with Paul Hoynes. More sports and less Levine continues exclusively on cleveland.com. Presque Isle Downtown Casino now has sports betting. Use one of the 50 state-of-the-art Bet America kiosks to place your bet. Then watch your favorite games on our new HD televisions or visit our new sportsbook area only at Presque Isle Downtown Casino. Partners in Education program recognizes role model students and teachers from across Ohio. Nominations can now be done completely online. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to OhioLottery.com. In the About section, find Partners in Education. There you will find links to the nomination forms. Students, kindergarten through 12th grade, can be academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as a Teacher of the Month. The Ohio Lottery, Partners in Education, where stars shine.
birthdays today. Goose Goslin, born on this date in 1900. Walt Michaels, former linebacker with the Browns, managed, er, uh, coached the, uh, uh, the New York Jets. Dave DeBuscher, how about him? Baseball uh, pitcher and uh, basketball uh, uh, coach. Yeah, yeah. I think he was named coach at the age of 24. Is that possible? DeBuscher? Yeah, he was coached the Knicks at the age of 24. I did not know. Yeah, we'll check on that. How do you do that, 1947? <laughs> I apologize for that. Chris Dolman, and uh, how about that? Bryce Harper, they finally get rid of him with the uh, Nationals, and goes to the Phillies, yeah. and look what happens. <laughs> how, how much of this do you blame on him? Not, not that you wouldn't accept the money that he was offered, but was there jealousy on, on part of his, his teammates that might have caused problems because think, of the amount of money he made? It, it, there might have been, but I think, you know, they wanted to prove something, that they could that they, they were still a good ball club, even though they... Without him. Without him. Yeah. You know, I think that was a motivating factor. All right, this portion of uh, More Sports and Less Levine brought to you by Northeast Factory Direct. Let's take a look at Terry Francona and the job that he did. I, I mentioned earlier that I thought it was possible that he, he might have been uh, running out of fuel, but... This uh, past year was his third best, 2019, 90, 93 wins and 69 losses. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, That'll get you to the playoffs almost every year. Yeah, the only since 2012, you know, when they went to two wild cards, this is, uh, you know, the first time a team has won 93 games and not qualified. Right. And he, he had two seasons in the 80s, but uh, 85 and 77 in 2014. Then 81 and 80 is the worst year with the Indians in 2015. But how about that? Uh, 2017, they were 102 and 60. Oof. You know, I, what I kept hearing all year last this past year, yeah, but they got Detroit and they got uh, Kansas City. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody had them. Yeah. I, I didn't see everybody sweeping those guys. No, and and you look at you look at every division winner. You know, they all they all had a soft. They touch. got a patsy somewhere. Yeah, they all would, and so you know that's the way it works. You can only play the teams that are on your right. schedule. And like, next year it'll change. It won't be Detroit. It'll be yeah, maybe Kansas City, right, or Chicago, or somebody. Or S speaking of Chicago, we kept hearing that they're the team that maybe will be the first team to take a step at Minnesota and, and uh, Cleveland. I still think they're. Uh, a shade behind. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I lo I really like their position players. You know, Ma uh, Mancata, uh, that uh, uh, Eloy Jimenez. Right. Um, you know, th those guys. Those guys are legit. You know, those those guys are r really good players. You know, I think, like you said, I, and you know, Abreu had a great year, and he's probably going to stay there. You know, so at first base, they'll they'll re-sign him. Um, but I think they still need some pitching. Yeah, but, but I, I, that's what I was thinking. You basically you're, you're going to have to take on Minnesota again. The lead, the division isn't going to change all that much. So I don't know that you have to make that many wholesale changes if you're the Indians. No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, the Twins are going to lose their whole pitching staff. Right. They're all rotation. Right. They're all free agents. Which wasn't that good anyway. Right. And uh, you know, and there, and you know, some of those guys like Shoop and some of those home run hitters that they signed, they're free agents as well. So you know, you're going to th that'll change a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, I think uh, if you get Clu if Kluber can pitch a full year, if if Carrasco comes back, uh, you know, if, if uh, Jose Ramirez, you know, you know, gets his head out of the clouds and has a and plays from wire to wire, I mean, I think uh, you you've got a chance. What, what a different team they were when he started. Oh hitting. my goodness, they're a, they're a totally different yeah. team. You know, he, from the number five spot, he he can protect uh, whoever they have there, right. Reyes or, or uh, you know, well, they had Puig, but Santana. Right. When, do, when you look back at, you know, you're going to sit on the beach in a month or two. And when you look, if you look back, no, nah, you're not going to be looking back at this team, are you? I, you know, I, I, I kind of like this team. Waiter. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> Cerveza. Those Cervezas. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to remember? I, I mean, the highlight to me was Carrasco coming back. Yeah, that was great. And, I, you know, the, the highlight to me was, you know, the, the All-Star game, yeah. you know, when, when they did the stand-up to cancer thing. And for some reason, I didn't see that coming. I, I was floored by that. I was really kind of really overcome by it emotionally. It, you know, when he stand, when Carlos is standing there and all the, the Indians All-Stars, you know, and Frank Conner standing there, it was really a yeah, moment I'm not for sure me. they knew what to do, by the way. Yeah, I mean, you know, and you see Lindor and Santana putting their arms around him, you know, and just, uh, and, and uh, it was just, uh, 
It was just one of those moments, man. We'll continue on with uh, highlights from the season and takeaways from the 2019 season. But first, let's go to John, who's in. Uh, oh, there's the high. Let's just take a look at this before we go to John and Linner's franchise record in home runs without any real home run hitters, right? No, I mean, and I think, you know, half the teams in baseball could say that. Yeah, that's, that's true. The way the ball 3. is 3.76 team ERA, and they, they pitched six, uh, 16 shutouts, most than all of the American League. And they were shut out 14 times. The, oh. the, which tied Detroit for the most time. So it was a Jekyll and Hyde 30 games, team. nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's go to John, who's in Linhurst. John, good evening. Welcome. Hi, guys. Um, you know, at the All-Star break, uh, Major League Baseball uh, hit 50% more home runs uh, at that time than the previous year. And then at the end of the year, I haven't seen any statistics on that, but I, either I heard or read, and it's sometimes at 78 I might uh, forget something too. Is the uh, are the balls the same for the um, playoffs? Is anybody okay? We we talked anything? about that earlier. Just kind of sum that up. Yeah. Well, they say they're the same. You know, they they have said they're you know the baseball. The, the only difference you know the commissioner and Major League Baseball have said. Is the stamp the postseason World Series or you know AL, ALCS uh, and LCS stamp that they put the baseball? That's that's, that's the one it. they can fill the air up with, <laughs> yeah. like like my car. But, but some of the managers, <laughs> you know, I've read some stuff where some of the managers say the ball definitely has changed in the postseason as opposed to the regular season. Yeah, the, so, the pitching that they're we'll facing have, is pretty go good. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, John. We'll have to wait till after the World Series is over, but. Uh, uh, you know, it, it it takes the fun out of it, I really think, uh, the ball zooming out of the park. You know, they did something about guys that were <coughs> taking steroids. What are they, they going to do to the heads of baseball to, to try to not to lose the yeah. fans, I guess? All right, John. That... Thanks for joining us. We yep. appreciate it very much. Yep. All right, so I watch a lot of baseball. And I think I do. And then some guy will come up and they'll say he's hit 37 home runs. I, I never heard of this guy. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> no, when did he hit 37 yeah. home runs? And Fran Mel Reyes, like that's yeah. a perfect example. Right. I mean, the guy came. Well, we over, don't watch a lot of San Diego yeah, Padres. He came games. over here and he hit 27 home runs. You take one look at him and you can see why he's right. like six five and two eighty. But and then you, know, you wonder why was he available? Right. And and you and you see, you know, there's there's obviously some pros and cons because he swings and misses a lot. You know. <laughs> and, well. When did that happen? You know, you and I, we've been doing the show. We've known each other a long time. You, strikeouts used to mean something. You didn't want strikeouts. Right. And and you wanted runners on first and second. You wanted a ground ball to move them up. You, they don't care anymore. No, when did I'm, that happen? That was That's all analytically driven, where a strikeout is the same as anything else. A strikeout is... it. it it's not a like uh, you know. It it used to be like when hitters they hated to strike out. Right. But now it's not that it's not that big a deal. Yeah, but, but how about moving a you runner? Put up? a ball in play is better than striking out. One would think because, because the way the defense is, they're going to make yeah, an error on you anyway. Because anything can happen. Yeah. Uh, but you know the strikeouts. I mean, I notice that that's been going on for 10, 12 years. You know. Do you notice it around the batting cage? Do you notice something different about it? I mean, there's a certain sound a ball makes when major league. Sluggers hit it. Are you hearing it with second baseman, for example? Well, you just watch BP, you know, and and you know you can see guys. I mean, any but almost all those guys can hit it out of the park. Yeah. The utility guy, it doesn't matter who's up there, you know, it, when they're hitting at BP. But that's that's pretty much always been the case. But different guys do it differently, you know, uh, like uh, you know Eddie Murray. Remember, Eddie Murray never tried to hit the ball out of the park. He he just started from left field and went went to right field, and he he took these funky little swings trying to get like blue pits and stuff. And he was just kind of a but. Uh, most guys are out there trying to show off, you know, yeah. and they're trying to crank and you know go up into the bleachers. Two one six five seven five zero four zero three is the number to, number to call. You want to get in with Hoinsey? You can do that right now. A line is open if you'd like to get in. Northeast Factory Direct. You know about their three great locations: West One Fortieth Street, the B and B Appliance uh, Store on uh, and Lakeland uh, Lakeland Boulevard in Euclid, and of course Freeway Drive in Macedonia. But check them out first at NortheastFactoryDirect.com. No gimmicks, no deceiving blowout sales. Just three huge beer warehouses. And all you're going to do is uh, pay uh, less, half price or less than you're going to pay at the big box stores from Northeast Factory Direct. 
Northfield Park is your home for live and simulcast racing. And uh, you can catch the excitement of live harness racing Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with a post time of 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday at 6.40, open every day early at about noon for the simulcast action from all over the world and the weekly Sunday contest featuring Belmont Park, top prize $500 in cash each and every week. Paul Hines and I return in a moment. More sports and Les Levine exclusively on cleveland.com. No other company or product can match the features, benefits, and warranty of an authentic Nature Stone floor. There was moisture in the basement. It ruined the carpeting. The smell was terrible. We didn't feel safe in our own basement, and that's when we called Nature Stone. And with Russell's promise, our true unconditional warranty, you will never have to replace your basement flooring again. Get Nature Stone installed by the end of October and save up to half off. Schedule your free cost estimate easily online today at naturestone.com. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Playing Ohio Lottery Pick 3, I see. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Uh, a box bed, a split parrot, or a wheel? Uh... Well, old Picky Ricky here is a straight shooter. <laughs> okay. It razzes my berries when newbies think betting's hard. Straight bets are easy peasy. Just match three numbers in order and win the old-fashioned way. This, on the other hand, is not so simple. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Jeez, so weak. <laughs> Play the Ohio Lottery Pick 3 today. There are tastes we remember. Every smell brings the happiness of times gone by. Experience this every time you walk into Gallucci's Italian Foods. Whether you need lunch on the go, a catered party, or that perfect blend of wine, meats, and cheeses, Gallucci's has exactly what you're looking for. Straight from Mama's Kitchen, for old world traditions or original experiences. From the tastes you remember to new flavors you'll never forget. Gallucci's is a tasty branch of your family tree. When it comes to selling you a mattress, most retailers are handing you a line, a long line of extra steps that drive up costs and create confusion. At the Original Mattress Factory, we simplify the mattress shopping experience by building mattresses and box springs in our own local factories and selling them direct to you. It's short, sweet, and simply makes sense. So experience more than just the mattress store. Experience an original, the Original Mattress Factory. Quincy, it's time for a How Come Quickie. How come the best pencils are number two pencils, so why aren't they called number one pencils? Is it that good? <laughs> that's right. Get on the top of the list. <laughs> that's good. I Last like night, we had one the other night that said, uh, how come if the speed limit in most states is 75, uh, speedometers go up to 140? Can't explain that, can you? No. You got 140 on your car? Yeah, I think Don't I, try it. Yeah, yeah don't, don't yeah, try it. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't try it. All right, so you're going to remember, uh, you're going to remember Carrasco. What, what comes next? Carrasco, uh, you know, I think two things with Carrasco. You know, the, uh, the All-Star game and uh, when, he, when he pitched for the first time in Tampa Bay after coming back. Right. And both teams came out of their dugouts. I was kind of hoping they'd save that for Cleveland. But they didn't. I think, you know, because he's, he's from there. Oh, that's right. And he that's lives right. there, and his family was there. And that was really cool. That was yeah. a good moment. Yeah. And, and uh, um, you know, I remember uh, Santana's Grand Slam mm -hmm. against the Twins. That You know, they in the 10th inning after Hand blew the save, and they, they uh, go, take three out of four. And then the next day, he, he hits another walk-off, uh, or a walk-off against Boston and puts him in first place yeah. by a half game. Let's go to the phones. Let's go to Bill, who's in North Homestead. Bill, good evening. Hey, guys. Uh, first of all, Les, I owe you an apology. Well, it's about time. Uh, For what? <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, was it last week or two weeks ago, I had called in about the uh, analogy when uh, Marchetti uh, hurt Ryan after he piled on in the, yeah, in the, in the Pro Bowl game. game. Yeah, yeah. And I said that I thought he broke his leg, and you said you thought it was his shoulder. Yeah. You were right. You were right. It well, it's about time I got late. something right. Hoinsie, <laughs> what I like about getting older here is I can say stuff that nobody remembers. <laughs> and I just right. said, see, I told you so. You know what he's talking about? <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. talking about 64 championship game. And I always wondered this when you have Jim Brown. It's 20 to nothing, third, fourth quarter, and Frank Ryan's still throwing to Collins. You'd think you'd hand the ball off to Jim Brown and run right. some time off. Baltimore didn't like that very much, so when they got to the Pro Bowl game, they... They wrecked Ryan's shoulder. Yeah, and he was never the same. Never right? the same. Never the same. Your apology is your apology is accepted. Once in a while, you wind up uh, saying something that triggers a, 
uh, recall of mine, and uh, you just, uh, you were always, you were talking about the Brown, uh, the Indians were shut out 14 times, but they had 16 shutouts, so 30 times nothing happened. <laughs> uh, I remember a famous line that uh, uh, Mickey Mouse said, but actually it's more appropriate for Jim Tomey. Uh, Jim Tomey was number two all time in strikeouts and number seven all time in walks. And if you add them all together, it's like he played four seasons and never touched the ball. Right. <laughs> and never played defense, so that adds to it. He didn't even I, – I remember when he came back the last time, I was in the locker room with somebody else and, and uh, told me – I was even surprised to see that he had a glove in his locker. Yeah. yeah. Why would he do that? Yeah. I mean, it, it took him so long to get on the field when he came back that last time. They were always working on his back. You know, oh, yeah, Always yeah. working on him in the trainer. How about – as a th that he was a third baseman, people a lot of people don't remember that. He he wasn't that bad getting ground balls. His the throw was the problem. Yeah, the throw him. was the problem. I remember well, him working drafted, on the backfields with Buddy Bell in spring, at Winter Haven. Well, Just, he was thin. You know, you see that highlight of him catching the the pop up that uh, against the Orioles when they clinched that in '95 when they yeah. clinched. He was pretty. Yeah, he, he used to there lean, wasn't tall much, and lean. Yeah, that's that's what he was. Which, by the way, is why some people suggested maybe he was using something but there's no question in your mind is there no i that's one guy i would uh go to my grave saying yeah. that he did not use he didn't have any artificial help you want to name some guys who did well yeah, i could name some guys that did <laughs> well let's write a book together <laughs> anything else bill well one of the things you were just asking tonight were was about the surprise of the, the past season and i'd have to rate uh, there were two guys i never really cared for uh perez and santana and I got to give them their due. They had beyond expectation, in my mind at least, uh, a great season defensively, offensively, yeah. in the clutch. Uh, I, when you I, go a whole season and don't I, have a pass ball and play as many games. That's as incredible. Perez yeah. did. It, I've, uh, I've always been uh, a San, I've been a Santana fan, but Perez just fooled the heck out of me this year. Yeah, well, I, certainly uh, I was much happier with him at first base than I was when Canacion was. Yeah. With the team, because I always, and I think I've mentioned this on your show a couple times. I was always, I thought it was so incredible how many times did it rip one down the left field line, and you'd always, you know, you'd picture in your mind, well, see, this is going to happen. He'll be on second. Next guy up will do this, and you'd just see him still on first base. I think Rian Gomes had ten more doubles than than uh, Encarnacion, yeah. which I think he had like sixteen. Yeah, and he should have had like forty. We got to go. Thanks so much for the call. Wasn't Thanks, it nice Bill. to see Gomes get that hit the other night? It sure was. He was a good guy, good dude. Uh, I saw him in, uh, when the Indians finished the year in, in Washington. We were talking to him. He, him and me didn't always see eye to eye. Is he that was, right? Yeah. He, I, didn't, I don't think he, I don't know. I never, I don't think he thought I was positive enough, you know? So, but it was, he, he seemed happy there. You know, he's catching another. Doesn't he know that you're not a member of the team? <laughs> That's right. Another. It's another, the players on the team that need to be positive. Right. But he's catching another great staff. Yeah. He's had a good run in the postseason. Seven Indians are on the payroll for the 2020 season. Let's take a look. These guys guaranteed. Santana, Kluber, Carrasco, Brad Hand, Jose Ramirez, and the two uh, Perez uh, players, uh, Roberto and Oliver, any problems with any of those guys? No, no. The, you know, and uh, I think uh, S Seattle is going to pay like four million of that of Santana's contract. So that's really about sixteen point eight. And they're also paying. I assume they're paying part of. Uh, uh, Incarnacion, Incarnacion yeah, with right? the Yankees. Oh, I don't know how that deal worked. The Yankees may have assumed all the deal. All, I can all see the Seattle there. people saying, we're paying who? <laughs> all right, uh, players who are arbitration eligible. I never understand this, but they've got uh, nine of them. Francisco Lindor, what's his what's his number? His, Lindor's number, uh, you know, according to MLBRumors.com, yeah. they project him to make $16.7 million. Made 10.55 this that's year. That's just practicing till the big contract comes along, right? Yeah, that's just, yeah, he's still two years away. Mike Clevenger, Kevin Plowicki, Nick Goody, A.J. Cole, Danny Salazar. We have seen the last of him, haven't we? Yeah, Salazar, you know, they'll not tender him, I, I would believe. I, I would, you know, I, I, they paid him $9.5 million over the last two years. He's made one appearance, so I think... Wow. Danny has burnt his how, bridge. How here. about Tyler Naquin? Is he gone for the season, or don't we know that yet? Well, seven to nine months for ACL. I uh, got it, you know, right at early September. So there's a, you know, he's going to miss some time. But uh, he's.
projected to make 1.8 million. I don't know how they'll handle that, but I don't think they'll. You know, I, I think they want to keep him. He had a pretty good year. For him. He did. Uh, Nick Whitburn and uh, Cody Anderson all on the arbitration eligible list. Yeah, Anderson and Cole have been hurt. You know, Anderson's been hurt for two, th two and a half years. So wow. that's a guy that another question mark. When we come back, we're going to talk about a guy that I think. It's kind of an enigma. He's, he's overrated, he's underrated at times, and I'm, I'm talking about uh, Jason Kipnis now, who's had an interesting up and down career with the Indians. Definitely. I, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think, I, th I like the way he went out this year. You know, you kind of go yes. out on your shield, yeah. you know, and you come back on your shield or, or uh, with it, you know, carrying your shield or on it. And Any, uh, any chance he's somehow, after everything's said and done, that maybe they'll throw a couple million at him? There might be, you know, but I think they, they you know, historically, if, we, if you look at how they've handled free agents, you know, once you're gone, you're gone. All right, we'll talk about that when we get back. Hoinsey is here. He's got a rant coming up at the end of the show. We'll also do some How Come Quickies. You can explore your interests and find a program at Tri-C that puts you on a path to a bright future. Tri-C offers more than 1,000 courses and over 140 career and technical programs. Uh, go to tri-c.edu to find out about more information. We'll talk about Kipnis and more. I was surprised. He's played about 1,200 games for the Indians. Yeah, he's, I think he's ranks third among their as, second baseman. Second baseman. Amazing. Take a break. Who's first? Bobby Nap Avila? Huh? And Avila. Whatever happened to that guy? Yeah. yeah. Nap Lajouet, yeah. And Bobby Avila, and Kipnis. Yeah. All right. We'll take a break. We'll come on back. I never thought I'd hear the name Jason Kipnis in the same breath as uh, Napoleon Lajouet, but yeah. Hey. <laughs> stick around long enough. Stick around long enough in baseball. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. We'll take a break. Come on back in a moment with Paul Hoynes. More sports and Les Levine. Seen exclusively on Cleveland.com. As a kid growing up, my dream was to go to college, play baseball, and get a degree. Coming out of high school, I had two choices. I was accepted into a four-year university, but I decided to come to Tri-C after receiving a scholarship. I got my associate's degree at Tri-C. They transferred all my credits straight into Baldwin Wallace, so I started at Baldwin Wallace University as a junior. My name is Tyler Leonard, and I earned my first degree at Tri-C. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program recognizes role model students and teachers from across Ohio. Nominations can now be done completely online. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to OhioLottery.com. In the About section, find Partners in Education. There you will find links to the nomination forms. Students kindergarten through 12th grade can be academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as a Teacher of the Month. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education, where stars shine. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family cool this summer, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes Smiley One Heating and Cooling. Find them at 440-449-HEAT. This day in sports history, Hoinsey, October 16th, 1897. Oh, I was at this game. Michigan shuts out Ohio State 34 to nothing at Ann Arbor in the first meeting between these historic rivalries. So they've got that going for them. Michigan does. Yeah. They won back the, op the opening game. It seems like they haven't won since then. I'm not kidding. Ohio State has owned them. They, they, they own them. Yeah, that's right. 216 575 I emceed an event the other night. Uh, Urban Meyer was put in the Greater Cleveland Sports Hall of Fame, and he's and he and I are going back and, and I am seated and we're going back and forth about not you know that school up north and not mentioning Michigan and we look out and there's a guy kind of squirming around in his seat as we're doing that. Elvis Gerbach. Oh yeah. You don't want to mess with him. <laughs> no, had I known like he was six, there, I'm not. Seven, right? He's a big guy. <laughs> he's a pretty big guy and had a terrific career, college and the pros. Two one six five seven five zero four zero three is the number to call. Paul Hoynes is with us. All right, um, so let's reflect on Jason Kipnis and his career. Did he deserve, in, in the scheme of things, take a look at the 1,121 games, hit 261, batting average, 123 home runs. He was a stolen base guy in his early yeah, on, right? Yeah. He had a, a 30 a couple of years, I remember, had a total of 135, 
and uh, 529 RBIs and a two-time All-Star. Uh, and not the year they uh, went to the World Series. Yeah, I mean, you know, in, in talking to Jason, you know, when, you know, when it just toward the end of the year, it was kind of after we got, he broke the handmade bone, he right. knew he was done for the year. He was saying that uh, he felt like, you know, he, he made those two all-star game appearances early in his career and maybe raised the bar a little, you know, the bar got for him? raised. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he couldn't meet those expectations. But I th always thought he was, you know, really a solid player. I thought, you know, he, there was he had a tendency to start the season slow. Right. But if you look from, you know, from the second half on, or there was always a point, you know, like a third of the way through the season, he'd hit 270, you know, 16 home runs, you know, 40 or, 50 home run, 40 or 50, 60 RBIs from that point on. Can, I can't recall any time where it said, hey, he didn't hustle that time. I, I think he hustled every time yeah. out. And that's what, you know, Francona loved about him. Uh you know, and I, he was a good guy to go to in the clubhouse, just from a reporter's point right. of view. He always gave you an honest answer. He always seemed to have the, uh, uh, you know, the pulse of the team. Right. You know, he, he was a go-to guy for, for reporters. I remember when Francona came here and we were meeting in the basement of the uh, stadium. And, and I think uh, Kipnis walked by or going to the locker room. And I said to Francona, I said, that's your Dustin Pedroia. And he said, not so fast, because he was a huge Pedroia fan. Yeah, right, And right. I think he came, maybe Pedroia still is number one in his books, but I, I don't, I think Kipnis is pretty darn close. Yeah, and I, I like Kipnis because he always had a sense of humor. You know, there was a play this year, this past season, where uh, 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 Naquin made a great catch against uh, the uh, the Tigers and then got up and threw the second ba threw the first base for a double play right. but he had taken a, a, a circular route to let's say to the ball and uh, and, and Kip just goes nice route Magellan <laughs> So, you can't say that to everybody. No, they may not no, know who, that's right. Who's yeah. Magellan? Well, he played shortstop for the Pirates. Yeah, yeah right. So that, that, that was a that good is, one. That's that was, funny. And he was that kind of guy. I, don't know. I was surprised with, uh, this week that Francona told you, I, I think it was, I'm sure it was you, that uh, they'll use Carrasco both ways, maybe starting and, and uh, relieving. Is that uh, well, you know, surprised Joe by Longa that? Well, Joe Longa wrote that. Oh, okay. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I would think – you know that the first priority is for them to to start Carrasco. Right. You know, but obviously it depends how he's you know how he's able to uh, you know recoup this this winter and how much conditioning he's able to do. You know, it's, while, while so being treated for leukemia. Yeah, leukemia. I mean it's mir miraculous when you think about it. Yeah, I mean, and you, you know he's just he's got that positive attitude. His wife has a positive attitude. He, I think he gets most of his inspiration from her. Yeah. She said, "You're going to beat this." And uh, well, how about visiting kids in the hospital yeah. on the day he's pitching? That's he, pretty impressive. And, and he's 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 a good dude. He's all right. Two one six five seven five zero four zero three is the number to to call. All right, we know the Indians don't have a lot of extra money or any extra money at all. Do you see them shopping for some free agent somewhere, some mid-level free agent? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think, uh, you know, especially if the market is like it's been the last two years for veteran guys, they're, they're going to need, a, you know, either a second baseman or a third baseman. Right. You know, and I think they'll uh, go out and get that guy. I think they need some help in the pen. They, I, may, I don't know. The, the outfield is so jumbled to me that, you know, maybe they added a hitter, but uh, – you know, I would think, you know, second or third baseman, I mean, you know, there's 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 some veteran guys out there that they could are go th get. Are they regretting Yandy Dave, uh, Diaz? You know, I think... I mean, when you see him hit a home run to start yeah. off the playoffs, you, yeah. you, you almost have to regret right. at and the he point. Had, you know, he won, that, he won the wild card game for right. Tampa. But, uh, you know, this he hadn't played in, what, a month and a half? Yep. So he had a broken foot. And, uh, you know, I think... It, it, it sounded like they kind of had a come to Jesus uh, meeting with Bowers at the end of the year. They they want more out of him. I think they still like him, uh, but you know he's he's got to cut down his, his strikeouts. They I think they they just think he can be a better player. Luplo gave him about what they wanted, right? Yeah, Luplo was great. I mean, Luplo turned into you know a left uh, you know a left-handed uh, guy that hits lefties. Right. What fourteen of the fifteen homers were yeah, against lefties. Yeah, you'd like him to be able to do something against righties, though. Yeah, and I, well, he's got to get a chance too. Yeah. Well, they got to give him a chance to play against that's righties. True. So you expect them to go to some mid-level free agent? 
Uh, uh, infielder. infielder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Howie, Ker uh, who's, who's the kid from uh, Howie Kernick? Ker uh, no, Howie uh, Kendrick. Kendrick is a free agent, yeah. I think. Look what he's done for the Nationals. And there's a bunch of guys like, uh, like that out there. Brock Holt, as Drupal Cabrera, who said, you know, I'm probably defensively as Drupal, you know, but. No, no thank you. No thank you. But, I mean, he had a, he had a great year yeah, he did. this year. What about Mickey Calloway? What does a guy like that do? Is he done? I think Mickey's got the, – the Mets are still paying him for one more right. year. I think Mickey is, is such a, a smart guy, a baseball guy, um, that I think he could be a special assistant, you know, like Tito did. Right. After he, he could maybe be in that role for a couple years and then try to get back into managing. I think he could be a pitching coach whenever he wanted. But it, it sounds like he wants to manage. You know, yeah, and, I think once you manage, yeah. that, that's in your skin, in your soul, I guess. And right? you know, the the thing about Mickey, I mean, the, the Mets never quit on him. They played pretty right. hard toward the end. There was just some in-game ta ta tactics that I questionable. think, yeah, they were questionable. Yeah. So he, you know, so I think that that's probably got to get better. Two one six five seven five zero four zero three. You want to talk to Heinze? Now's the time to do that. You want uh, hot tubs? I know with the weather the way it is, you might want to start thinking about that. Uh, after shopping at Northeast Factory Direct, you can settle back into your own six-person hot tub, and that comes fully loaded with stainless steel jets, LED lighting, and a waterfall for $3,800. Same tub sells all over the country for $7,000. No gimmicks, no deceiving blowout sales, no typical retail nonsense, all at Northeast Factory Direct with three great locations, east, west, and south. The south, of course, now in Macedonia. East, uh, West 140th Street, that's in Cleveland, and the old B&B Appliance, Lakeland Boulevard in, in Euclid. That is uh, Northeast Factory Direct. Sokolowski's University Inn, every Saturday in the month of October, which is where we're at right now, they've got the clam bake. Every Saturday in October from 4 o'clock until 9 o'clock, including the half chicken or 12-ounce uh, stri strip steak, a dozen clams and clam broth, clam chowder, baked uh, candied yams, uh, red skin potatoes, sweet corn. Hoysie, you getting hungry? Jeez, oh man. Garlic toast, how about pumpkin or apple pie? Oh, you're the chocolate pie guy. <laughs> I I'll just take, remembered. I'll, I'll take all three of those. Yeah, how, how can you argue <laughs> with apple? It's unbelievable. Come back in a moment. Paul Hines is with us. More sports and less Levine continues exclusively on Cleveland.com. No other company or product can match the features, benefits, and warranty of an authentic Nature Stone floor. I had an epoxy-based sand paint on my floor that deteriorated, and that's why I called Nature Stone. Why paint? It's expensive, it's ugly, and it doesn't last. Nature Stone is always affordable. It's beautiful, and with Russell's promise, our true unconditional warranty, you will never have to replace your garage floor again. Get Nature Stone installed by the end of October and save up to half off. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. When it comes to selling you a mattress, most retailers are handing you a line, a long line of extra steps that drive up costs and create confusion. At the Original Mattress Factory, we simplify the mattress shopping experience by building mattresses and box springs in our own local factories and selling them direct to you. It's short, sweet, and simply makes sense. So experience more than just a mattress store. Experience an original, the Original Mattress Factory. Downs and Casino now has sports betting. Use one of the 50 state-of-the-art Bet America kiosks to place your bet. Then watch your favorite games on our new HD televisions or visit our new sportsbook area. Only at Presque Isle Downs and Casino. Hoinsie's checking out quickies if we can use them or not. One is getting knocked out, right? You agree? Yeah. yeah. Can't use it? It's good. That's what bothers me. It's, I, it's good, but I, you know I can't use it. You know, you know why? I like doing more sports than Les Levine. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this date in Les Levine history, October 16th, 1997. Les and his wife Allison attend a mixed marriage, a wedding between an Ohio State groom and a Michigan bride. Instead of asking the guests if they want to be seated on the bride or groom side, they asked Scarlet and Gray or Maize and Blue. 
like that. Right? It was a very uncomfortable wedding. <laughs> I bet it was. Oops, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> shouldn't say that. 216-575-0403 is the number to call. Got a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, Mr. Gullible, too quick. I can't use one of them. Mr. Gullible, you know I can't. Nice try, but I can't do it. How come all I've ever wanted was an honest week's pay for an honest day's work? <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't? That's, a, that's not bad. Not bad. How come this from uh, Big Ed? How come when a woman says, I'll be ready in five minutes, it's not the same as when a man says it? You know, we have a thing in our house. You know, are you ready to go? I'll be ready in seven football minutes. <laughs> Right? It's not like seven minutes. It's that's seven right. football minutes is, One what, 25 minutes? Two Mississippi. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm always late. Right? Are you, you're the one yeah, who's late? I'm always late. Big Ed says, how come we, uh, when our cell phones fall, we panic, but when our friends fall, we laugh? <laughs> not anymore, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we used to. Not anymore. <laughs> John Patrick says, how come a bachelor has never made the same mistake once? No. <laughs> <laughs> little twisted logic there. Yeah. Uh, that's enough for that. It's tough doing this, Hoisey. <laughs> it's tough. Let's see, where do we go from here? Facebook question of the day. Here we go. What should the, be the Indians' biggest priorities in the off season? All right, I'll read them. You, you comment on them. Okay. This from uh, Andy Mee is assuming they don't re-sign Kip or Puig. They must find guys who at least match their production at the plate. The lineup was inconsistent this past season. Need more run production to back up the great starting pitching. Oh, yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, they went from third in the league in run scored to seventh this year. Shut out, like we said, 14 times. So they're going to have to find somebody in the middle of the lineup to hit behind Santana. Lawrence Butler, who uh, three weeks ago predicted Washington would win it all, he says the Indians need outfielders and a third baseman, run producers. Tito always manages to put a bullpen together. Starting pitching looks it looks great. Yeah, I, you know I like I. They have so many outfielders. I get the feeling that they'll they'll put it they'll mix and match and, and get it together. Right. Rick May says depth in the outfield positions. Past season was like a who's who out there. Finding a way to keep Lindor should be a high priority. Let's. We, they can't keep him. They, Lindor is going to be here for two years. This, this is just my guts saying they're going to ride him out and then wave goodbye as he goes into the sunset. And to quote Paul Dolan, just enjoy him while he's here. Yeah. Scott Matthews need relief pitching. Carl St. John's third baseman who can hit. Well, if, gotta, if you have to move Ramirez yeah, to second. Right. I mean, you know that that's the beauty of this. You know, R R Ramirez can play second or third, and you you you, you have your options. You find a second or third baseman. Yeah. Kevin Quinby, uh, Kluber getting healthy, figuring out how to pay Lindor. Uh, half right. Yeah. Patrick Bernhardt, how about bringing back Chief Wahoo to the game uniforms? <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Chief but Wahoo. they can't stop you from wearing them when you go to the game. No, it's, he's uh, in the dustbin of history. <laughs> All right, when we get back, it's time for a Paul Hoynes rant. I can't wait. I can't wait. And uh, the beauty of being on... Cleveland.com is we're not locked into a, a cl clock management. You can oh. you want to go for an hour? Be my guest. <laughs> I won't be here, but you can go for an hour if you'd like to do that. <laughs> Northfield Park, your home for live and simulcast racing. They've got live racing starting at 6 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then on Saturday and Sunday, it starts at 6:40. Open every day for uh, simulcast action from all over the world, all the great tracks. And uh, they've got the uh, Lady Lux Clubhouse is open every Saturday with a buffet for just $15.95 and the weekly Sunday contest at Belmont and the featuring Delmont, Belmont, top prize $500 cash each and every week. We'll come on back with the Paul Hoynes rant. You're watching more sports and less Levine exclusively on Cleveland.com. Can match the features, benefits, and warranty of an authentic Nature Stone floor. There was moisture in the basement. It ruined the carpeting. The smell was terrible. We didn't feel safe in our own basement, and that's when we called Nature Stone. And with Russell's promise, our true unconditional warranty, you will never have to replace your basement flooring again. Get Nature Stone installed by the end of October and save up to half off. Schedule your free cost estimate easily online today at naturestone.com. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. There are tastes we remember. Every smell brings the happiness of times gone by. Experience this every time you walk into Gallucci's Italian Foods. Whether you need lunch on the go, a catered party, or that perfect blend of wine, meats, and cheeses, Gallucci's has exactly what you're looking for. Straight from Mama's Kitchen, for old world traditions or original experiences. 
From the tastes you remember to new flavors you'll never forget, Gallucci's is a tasty branch of your family tree. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program recognizes role model students and teachers from across Ohio. Nominations can now be done completely online. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to ohiolottery.com. In the About section, find Partners in Education. There you will find links to the nomination forms. Students, kindergarten through 12th grade, can be academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as a Teacher of the Month. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education, where stars shine. All right, tomorrow night, uh, Jim Ingram will join us. We'll talk football and baseball with uh, Jim. What a great guy and a great writer he is. You see us live from 6 until 7, then uh, you can archive it any time of the day or night uh, through cleveland.com. And you can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com, slash more sports and less Levine with new content posted each and every day. Hoinsey during the break is get, uh, like, like Muhammad <laughs> Ali getting ready to, getting ready to just, so you need you need a cut man here or anything? Yeah, I need a corner man. All right, uh, coming out of the uh, shadows of, uh, what do you call it, the dustbin? The dustbin of history. Yeah, here's Hoinsey with a, a rant. I think you've got, this is an ad lib one, right? Yeah. yeah. Do your best. Okay. Les, yeah. you know, I, I was reading the other day about this high school in, in Minneapolis, just outside of Minneapolis. There's like 200 kids in this high school, and, and they're, 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 their latest project is they're building, they're building a washing machine that they're going to shoot in outer space. Now they're <laughs> they're they're they're, they're going to pay this washing machine. They're going to give it to NASA, and NASA is going to you know take it and put it on the next space station. So you know I'm sitting there thinking, you know this these there's like 200 kids in this place, and they do all sorts of wonderful things. Like they build this car that gets 500 miles a ga per gallon of gas. So I'm thinking if. There's some high school kids that can do this. Why can't the Indians win a World Series? You know, I mean, we've been waiting 71 years. Come on. I mean, how hard can it be? You know, 71 years, and, and we got kids sending washing machines to the moon. You know, they, there, there's got to be some correlation here. And, and you know, while, you, while, while we're at it, you know, what, why don't those uh, kids from Min Minneapolis, outside of Minneapolis, talk to the Twins, the Twins, the Paper Tigers of, the, of, of, of Major League Baseball. I mean, they hit 370. Seven home runs during the regular season, a record 307 home runs. Then they go and roll over and go belly up against the Yankees in a sweep of the division series. The Twins, the Twins have lost 15 straight postseason games, 15 <laughs> straight, 12 of them to the Yankees. If these guys, if these guys win the, the AL Central next year, they should just forfeit. They should just forfeit and give it to the second place team. They. What is this? Come on. You got to do better than that. And then, you know, so I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, oh, let's say these high school kids, you know, I, you know, they're techies, obviously. But maybe, maybe, you know, they have a pretty good grip on uh, the geopolitical scene, you know. And, you know, so I'm thinking, well, maybe they could, you know, talk to uh, uh, LeBron James. They could give him a little advice, you know, that, you know, with the one basic thing is we live in a democracy. Yeah, and, and, and we have the right of free speech, you know, and, and, and free tweets, you know. And so when, when you take, kind of take the side of, a, of, a, of, of China and your, your, your pocketbook is getting squeezed a little bit and, and all of a sudden you forget you live in a democracy, well, that's not a good thing. You know, and it's just another example of why people should stay off Twitter. So, you know, and, and, you know, so I'm just thinking, I think they could help them with that. I think they could help them with that. And, and also, finally, you know, this is just me, just is just me, that, uh, you know, when was the last time anyone saw the, the Browns quarterback, Baker Mayfield, bite into a beer can and shoot another beer like he did at, the, at, at Jacobs Field, at Progressive Field this year? You know, or it's, it's, I don't think it's been, you know, I don't think he's done it be, since because he's been too busy running for his life. You know, trying to avoid sacks, throwing interceptions. You know, and and you know it's 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 been tough. So, but I'm thinking, you know, if these kids, if these kids from Minneapolis can send a washing machine to the moon, you know, Baker might want to go for the ride, along for the ride, because it's a lot safer there than playing behind that <laughs> offensive line. You have not lost it. <laughs> I'm glad to see that. 
<laughs> Unless you went on the road and it's lonely nights in uh, Anaheim, you'd be writing up these rants. Maybe you have a bunch saved up. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, a little thing like reading a note about the kids in, in Minneapolis turns just <laughs> that got brings me. that all to you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. All right. You got 30 seconds. You got anything left? Oh, uh, or you, you're done. Um, you you're know, done. I, I just you work too it, hard. Yeah, it's. I think it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun to watch the postseason. You know. Yeah. I think it's. We. It's. Well, they it's got to rain out tonight in uh, New York. Yeah, and I'm wondering. You know, like uh, this is. You know, does this put the Nationals at a disadvantage? Because they kind of. Oh. You kind of. You know. You. You get to. Uh, they get to get put on a shelf like the Rockies at one year against. Right. Uh, against the. Uh, uh, Boston, right? Yeah, but you can sum it up by what you said before about how you feel about the Yankees. Yeah. I mean, they can't lose enough. There you me. go. <laughs> I, you know, I'm sorry. I, you don't care for I, green, I like CC and, all, and uh, Edwin and all those guys, right. but they can't lose they enough They can't for lose me. enough. Yeah, good words to live by. That'll do it for us. Jim Ingram tomorrow night. Thanks to the great Paul Hoynes of all the shows I've ever done. This was the most recent. <laughs> <laughs>